first tonight. As Baltimore City Police to continue to investigate the shootings from the holiday weekend, they've also released the names of the people who lost their lives. Among them, we have a 20 year old. His name is Isaiah Willits from West Baltimore. He was one of three, three people killed Sunday on Spalding Avenue. WMAR 2 News, Dave Detling's out there. He's been following this story. He has more from police headquarters tonight. Dave. Well, of the names released by Baltimore City Police from this deadly weekend, Isaiah Willis is the youngest name listed. He was just 20 years old. Today we spoke to his family and they are crushed and devastated over his loss. And they have a message to those participating in gun violence. And I'll be lying to you if I say I'm not in pain right now. It's like my baby's not coming home. I'm using him knocking on my door and say, Mom, I'm here. Mom, you good? Mom, if you're good, I'm good. Barbara Fitch Henderson is another grieving Baltimore mother who lost her son to gun violence Sunday. She says her son, Isaiah Willis, was expecting a child later this summer and had recently started working security. It really hits home when it's your own child. It really hits home. And not only does it affect me, but it affects everybody around them. The 20 year old was one of three people killed Sunday night in what police described as a running gun battle near Spalding and Buford Avenues. The two other men who died, 22 year old Julius Dunbar and 26 year old Teron Jackson. It's unclear why gunshots were fired or who shot at who. I just want this killing to stop. This violence, this, it just gotten so bad. Over the weekend, police say eight people in Baltimore were killed in shooting incidents. At least five others injured before Memorial Day ended. For this family, they're sharing memories of Isaiah and hoping others think twice before picking up a gun. His sense of humor, coming home, just being funny. I'm gonna miss that about my brother the most. But I remember last time he gave me three hugs, but that very last hug, it just was totally different. He hugs me real hard, like, why did he give me this hug? Like, it was like a real extra special hug. But I didn't think anything of it or anything. I didn't know if he like, was in trouble, didn't want me to worry. And like police, the family still has a lot of questions. If you have any information regarding Sunday's shooting, you're urged to give police a call. Detectives are looking for leads. Reporting outside Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.